All right, so this is a, this is a Monday. The sky is still very foreboding. It rained. Well, five inches of rain came down here yesterday in an incessant storm. And you can see that we still have all this. But the day before on Saturday, I was able to swap out the, the tin heat gathering part of that thing and put in one I made that's got four copper tubes instead of two. I took the other one out and I the one with two tubes and it's being recycled over here into the sort of off-grid refrigerator project. We're gonna see what we can do just radiating heat to the sky. But anyway this guy's now got four tubes and I was very encouraged because even with this terrible stormy conditions for a panel like that um, I came home and I started monitoring the water out of it and it was really quite hot even with intermittent clouds and um, I mean pardon all the noise uh, I just have a lot of young neighbors and I like that Well, and a few of those things too, but you got to take the bitter with the sweet. Anyway, so with this new panel, I have much higher hopes. It really does seem to have pulled in more heat, even under really not ideal conditions late in the afternoon. So I think after the storm blows over, we'll, I'm going to run another series of, of tests, and we'll just see what this four tube panel does and if that isn't what I need then I'll keep experimenting that's the good thing about having a test bed like that very open-ended um, the polycarbonate panel just comes out I even have some extra spacers made for holding it off um, we'll see uh, Right now, I'm constrained to copper pipe for this. And I'm using Schedule M because I want it to be able to withstand full city water pressure. That's important because when you fill a spa, the water is about 60 degrees coming out of the ground or coming out of your spigot. So if you could bring that up to 100 degrees by just letting it go through this panel slowly on a sunny day, you can take a lot of pressure off of your spa heater and you can save a lot of energy which is good it's very green um, theoretically you'd use this in two ways you would any new water you would put through a series of one or two diverter valves I suppose that um, for purposes of explanation the uh, as an example uh, this, where the shower diverter is and the, uh, the, the utility hose diverter is, uh, that's the supply from the spa. So you could just unscrew that and put your garden hose on there. Well, I'll spray out the garden hose, clean out the vinyl gas or whatever. Just spray it out a little bit, then, then screw it on there and turn it on. Turn it on low. It will just go through this four tubes and back the return and pour into the spa. And instead of putting 60 degree water right out of your hose into the spa, you're going to put, well, whatever I can get out of this. And I'll know that after the next series of experiments. Big thing is, is that I really like to have hot water and I really like to have a fair amount of volume of water and so I, I think that actually this is going to have to be beefed up in a couple of ways I think eventually I'm going to have to go from 3 8 to half inch supply and return line to match the half inch of the panels and uh, we're still in development on the panels but I do think that we're a lot closer now with four and I saw some very hot water in here so we'll see